Welcome, my friends, to the Strawberry Festival in Plant City. It's not just any Strawberry Festival. This is the Florida Strawberry Festival. It is easily the biggest strawberry festival in Florida, if not the only strawberry festival in Florida. By the way, Rich. What are you with Rich? What's up, guys? This is the second time that you've joined us for yeah. a little exploring, or maybe I'm joining you today for a little roadieing. Uh, right over here, Michael is also joining us with the, uh, the Scream shirt. Very popular here at the Strawberry Festival. I don't know. But hey, today we're inviting you to join us for one of Florida's most treasured traditions. It is the Strawberry Festival here at Plant City. Join us today, if you will, as we do just a little splorn. Now lately I've been trying to make the videos as much as possible about travel, small towns, especially cruises, things like that. But uh, this is, the Strawberry Festival comes but once a year, and this is a big enough event here in Florida that I feel it really kind of does deserve some documentation. This particular festival features multiple Ferris wheels, an entire section of kiddie rides that is the size of most carnivals themselves, and then another entire area that is nothing but more, I say adult rides, but that makes it sound like someone's gonna take their clothes off. So that's not what we're gonna do here. We're hoping that's not what we're gonna do here. Sir, I've got an eye on you. Those are rides that are more uh, thrilling, if you will. While we're here, we're gonna check out some of the food because of course, being the strawberry festivals, food is, food is a very big part of this. Uh, we're gonna show you the all you can eat strawberry shortcake, which is by the way, the best strawberry shortcake in the world. They, they received a plaque, at least I like to believe they received a plaque about it. Uh, we're gonna see some of the animals, we're gonna see some of the, the wares that they're selling. All of this stuff right here for you. Stick around, twiddle the thumbs up button, rub the subscribe button sensually. I'm waiting for you to do it. Thank you right inside the gates. Here's our first experience with the strawberries. This is the uh, Mavericks Chocolate Barn. They've got, as you can see right over there, Mavericks Chocolate Covered Bacon. Let's see, they've got the Single Dipped Berries, Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, they've got the Shishka Berries, five berries covered in chocolate, served on a stick. Country Half Dozen, just chocolate covered uh, uh, strawberries in an uh, egg carton, I believe. And of course, the Chocolate Dipped Bacon for $15. Now, personally, I have had chocolate covered bacon before, not from this particular vendor, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was actually kind of like a Nestle Crunch Bar. Uh, with the chocolate that was on there, you couldn't really taste the smokiness or the pork of the bacon. You just tasted salt and crunch. So uh, it's not as crazy as it sounds like it could be. But here it's fifteen dollars, and I'm I'm not I'm no. We're going to start our day here at the Entenmann's tent. Entenmann's is, of course, a uh, they make donuts and cakes and coffee cakes and little pastries, breakfast food uh, pastries, if you will. Uh, they are one of the larger sponsors here. They've got their own tent, and as I understand, their tent is just full of uh, stuff that you can buy, stuff that you can check out that might be a little unique. As you can see here, they're, they're selling things like scooters, the world's best back support. There's the Gorilla Brush for your grill. Something up here, this looks kind of interesting. Hold on a second, it's the Transforming Life Church. They today are selling strawberry shortcake. This is the 45th year that they've been here. Looks like they are uh, just dishing that strawberry shortcake right now for you. It is not what I consider the best strawberry shortcake in the world, but I understand that this is a very close runner-up. This this might be the best booth I've seen all day. These these are the, like the Nerf... Uh, you should mark them to make yourselves tough. Drop, shoot about 45 feet and drop one in. Flip it around, drop a Nerf dart in the barrel, and then shoot Nerf darts as well. That is incredible. So if they've got their own uh, Nerf darts at home, they can just pop them right in here. So we also have our Nerf dart home. That is incredible. We have a full online store. We ship anywhere in the country. There's our QR code right there. All right, guys, I'm putting it right here. You have no excuse not to scan that QR code. It's the Freedom Bell telling us that we are allowed to uh, ring the Freedom Bell with respect.
just realized that right behind the bell are some fresh strawberries. All joking aside, I gotta tell you, fresh Florida strawberries really are different. It's night and day over what you get in the grocery stores. I have no idea what's going on here, but I like it. Look at the cow being taken by the alien. The longer I stare at this, the more I keep finding. Those are not strawberries. I gotta say, I've been coming here for years. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like what we're seeing today. And uh, those are potatoes and tomatoes, not strawberries. And of course, those are piranha plants. I choose to believe that actually is Hulk Hogan. I do have to say the smell coming off these strawberries is incredible. Here it is, the best strawberry shortcake in the world. This will be my first trip in here today. Went with the biscuit. Tell me that is not a thing of beauty right there. They always provide a nice seating area, but as you can see, it's so very popular that it's not always possible to grab anything. All right, folks, here it is. We have two biggest ball games, because we have the Red Sox and the Twins, and where we live, we're right in between the two. Okay, so this is interesting. The face painting has certainly taken a step forward since I was that age. I mean, nowadays, apparently, you have to have yourself a, a file cabinet, and you do it with, with, with air rather than brushes. Hmm. If you stick around long enough, they're going to show you why you cannot live without these pots and pans. And yet here I am. Looks like we got another one of these strawberry alien things going on here. At some point I need to figure out what this is all about. This is incredible. That is the most Florida thing I've ever seen. And look at this. It is entire booth of Sasquatch. Wow. This is, uh, this is a whole new kind of special. For all my millennial and Gen Z friends out there, they have a Instagram wall because of course they do. She is not a millennial. Our next strawberry landmark, if you will, Strawberry Festival Kettle Corn and Caramel Corn strawberrykettlecorn.com. I've heard of this. Kettle corn, of course, with uh, some uh, strawberry, uh, I don't know if it's strawberry juice or syrup or what have you mixed into it, but it is supposed to be pretty darn fantastic. And that is right outside the building where we got ourselves our strawberry shortcake. It's very convenient. Ah, uh, it's the sitting booth. And really, if you're not sitting on a crab, are you really sitting? This is a little surreal if you've never done it before. This right here is the uh, Strawberry Festival Stadium. I think it actually is the Plant City Stadium. And as far as, you know, county fair stadiums go, it's, it's pretty legit. Uh, today, they've got the last time the Oak Ridge Boys will ever be in, uh, in this part of Florida, if not in Florida, period, before they break up. But uh, at, the, at the Strawberry Festival this year, they've got groups like the Black Eyed Peas, the Beach Boys, Flo Rida, and a whole bunch of country. Um, it is a separate ticketed attraction, so know that if you come in, you're going to spend your uh, $15 or so at the door, uh, and then you're going to spend between, I want to say $35 and $65, depending on which act you come to see. So take that new account when you come out. Now, Rich is over here. He was, he was just looking at the stadium, too. You had told me you saw... You saw Flo Rida, I yeah, believe. Yeah, one of the guests going to be here. Yeah, and you said there's a, there's a couple of them that you were saying you would not mind going to see. Uh, yeah, the Beach Boys, um, Black Eyed Peas is coming too. There's, there's some pretty good names. So, now, I think it's it's non-Fergie Black Eyed Peas. Non, uh, I don't know if I want to see them then. Yeah, so that's what Will I Am and two other guys? Two other guys, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's the Black Eyed Peas minus Fergie. Yeah. Not, not worth quite as much. No. But it's gonna be right over here, folks, right above the restrooms. Take a look at this line right here. No, it's not strawberry shortcake. It is what has been referred to as the world's best buttermilk corn dog. Now, I've heard some people say that that is blasphemy. 
Some people would say that Disneyland has the best corn dog. I personally would say that Cedar Point has the best corn dog. But uh, obviously, these folks right here disagree with me. This is kind of cool. We had these when I was younger. They're not as easy to find uh, as they used to be. And uh, you know what we found last year? My son and I found those gum cigarettes that had the paper around them and you blow into them. And they, they should smoke, which is actually just, you know, like confectionery sugar. We found those again. Haven't seen them in like 20 years. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they're giving away some freebie shirts here. Look at that. I've not seen anything like this before, but apparently you go in there, they take a 3D picture of you, and they 3D print an action figure of your likeness. Starting at $40. It's kind of cool. And uh, just joining us, Adam the Woo, uh, that, this is, how many, how many years now do you think you've done opening day of the Strawberry Festival? Is this only the second or third? But you've come out to it a lot of times, though. They do. Now, you were just telling me, because I asked you if you are going to enjoy the strawberry shortcake, world's world's greatest strawberry shortcake. But this year... Uh, no, uh, no. Yeah. Cut back on the shirt. Now, what, what is this event that, I, that I'm told about? You're, you're doing something in September? I'm just trying to lose weight. Oh, I'm running a half marathon. Well, I'm going to cross the finish line at a half marathon. <laughs> he's he's going to do not going to be running it. I'm probably going to do, I don't know, I'll probably run two minutes, walk two minutes, that kind of thing. That's, I we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna cross the finish line. That is gang impressive regardless. Yeah, so and I gotta drop some pounds. Can I show real quick? This is, this is probably- my gut? This is what's gonna be going well, on. Well, I was, I was gonna show, oh, the, show the, the tiki. Okay. The tiki gut. You can show this too. Yeah, there's the tiki we'll gut. an update on this in like six months. <laughs> the tiki gut. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the- uh, There's more tiki guts than there are non-tiki guts. Uh, absolutely, I've got Guys five- my age throwing the tiki shirts on. Got a little something in the midsection. I've got five tiki shirts at home that prove that theory. Here is the uh, Florida answer to the cattywampus. Let's see how many of you catch the reference. Those are some rather large prizes. All right, I'm not usually a huge fan of the Ferris wheels, but we're gonna give it a shot. Evidently, there's a double Ferris wheel here somewhere, maybe, possibly. Right there. That's a double Ferris wheel? Yeah. Oh, right there. Okay, that's not as tall as I thought it was going to fall on that. I'm not happy, man. I'm not fair. Yeah, the notebook's great. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my wife? I give you abandoned potato chips. Now, I've never had this before, but I've seen it advertised. I've heard people talk about it. The pork tenderloin, look at the size of the tenderloin as compared to the size of the bun. Incredible. Somebody to get this thing. I don't know, this reminds me of Twister for some reason. Twister? I, I just like how the bun. alien has access to some healthy strawberries. Like, nope, I'm gonna eat a cookie. Yep. <laughs> you can tell by this display right here that Beals had a sale. Here is another one of these alien things going on here. Well, I mean, it's not so much aliens. This one is just sort of like space. Here's another one that we didn't see before. This is uh, Hillsborough County 4-H clubs is out of this world. You can see here, there are some strawberry creatures, maybe aliens, maybe not, maybe mutants. And over here is the Sundance Posse. I don't know who that is, but they did this. You, don't, you just cannot have a carnival without a few flavors of saltwater taffy. We've got uh, chocolate vanilla, black walnut. I thought it said bratwurst at first. Um, <laughs> I mean, really, after, after seeing bratwurst taffy, can you, can you really care about the rest of them? All right, look at this. Rich has got some chocolate-covered strawberries. Do you care which one I take? Um, just not all of them. Okay. If I took a white one, would that be okay? That'd be perfectly fine. Awesome. Thank you. I just, uh, you know, this one's pointing towards me, sort of. I appreciate that. Yeah, look at that. Right here. Oh yeah. 
So right inside that strawberry, we have Adam and Mike spinning. It's too rich for my blood. There's the uh, Dumbo ride. Uh, it, Sanctioned but, by Disney. Yeah, uh, they've got parrots instead of crows, which is actually probably a good thing. I'm not sure what exactly has uh, happened to this thing that's not being... Well, I could see one reason that they might not want to use it. I don't think... Way to go, guys. You did it. The world's greatest ice cream. Way to go. That's appetizing. they got some fried strawberry pies here. Classic. Good grief, somebody won one of those things. That's Mr. and Mrs. Berry. The line starts here. Very dapper, Ryan. They are very, 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 very dapper. dapper. Very nice. Are you as excited to be trash here as I am? Yes. Yes. So we're going to watch the uh, trash. We're going to watch the uh, trash pig, pig races. I'm going to step to the side slide. We're going to go watch the pig races uh, in, in about two minutes. By the way, uh, 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 Chris the girl, uh, Tampa Jay, here at, how many times now have, have we been, uh, you and I have been to this Quite together like four or five times now. I know this is my sex, uh, what, what did I just say? How many Jay's six, had sex. Six yeah. consecutive <laughs> strawberry festival on opening day in a row. And actually I met Chris at the yeah. strawberry festival. Did, yeah. I fell on her like uh, three years ago. You did what? I fell on Chris like oh, three years ago. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I actually, just to commemorate it, right before we went live, I fell on her again. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you got that going on. Yeah. And, and we all got this going on. Trash. I should probably cut that out, but I'll probably forget. Uh, hold on. No, Mental cut note, it. cut this out. How you all doing today? You having a good time here at the Florida Strawberry Festival? Yeah. Yes, we are. All right. Well, we'd like to welcome y'all to Pork Chop Downs. Thank you. Have y'all seen the Robinsons racing? All right. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 around the bar. Turn here, folks. The winner is number two. Is the winner number two? Yeah. around the bar turn. They're making their way around to the cookie here. The winner is... Who we got there, son? Number two. Let's go swimming. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Up on the platform here. There he goes. It's the white pig in the water first, followed by blue. Up out of the they come. The winner is white. Yes, in the background, you hear Elvira being sung by the Oak Ridge Boys for the last time because this is the farewell. Ready? Here it comes. Here's a big tip for you. If you come on out here, you can get drinks as long as you have cash. Right out here, much cheaper. Same place you get your strawberry shortcake. The Rich just pointed out even more aliens here. Hmm. This time, just starting off with a little corn on the cob, a little fire roasted corn on the cob. Uh, not, not charred, as you can see, but still looks pretty good. I think we're gonna start off the dark rides with this one, Universal Horror. Probably not sanctioned, uh, but you know, it's a carnival. All right, let's see. I see some Halloween decorations on the wall. Oh, it says go back on the wall. Oh. Does that mean we go backwards? That's, that right there is scary. We're in the open. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, what the? Oh, what oh the? God. Why is it so rough? Ah. Dude, this thing's moving. It's gonna be over very quickly. Move it. Back. Whoa. Ah. What is that? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is supposed to be spinning. I think this is supposed to be spinning. This tunnel right here. You have got 
have to be kidding me. That was it? <laughs> Holy cow, that oh was God. bad. Other than the fact that I almost got thrown out of the car at one point, so that wasn't scary. Was like, wait, wait. This I is recognize weird. That I've done the knock off the mansion a couple times. The one here. They we're probably going to do that too. That was scared, a hunk of garbage. I'm sorry, I have to ask. <laughs> Having been on that, <laughs> yeah. what I, uh, words can you possibly use? There's no words to describe that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Disappointing. Yeah, that would say. Yeah. Time to see if we're going to have any better luck here on the Haunted Mansion. All right, let's, oh, let's see how this one goes. Oh. Hey, it's jerky. I want to get your reaction yeah. on Universal, Universal Monsters. Sir. All right, let's see. If this can hold a candle to the Universal Monsters. I'm gonna say this is the ten times, no, three times better. I think so. It already is better. All right. It's screaming, it's not me. This thing, oh, hey, there we go. It's already better. That's doing something. Oh, my knees. That thing's already working. I, so that's two tickets right there. Hey, okay. two things are working. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, still a two. Oh, it's a uh, thing. That's uh, that rabbit from Donnie Darko. Oh, is it? Okay. Crank the body. Oh, something's moving here. It's not lit up, but it is moving. Oh, there's a there's a thing too. Oh, look at that. You get dynamite. Okay, that was, this is already way better. This is better. I'm not disappointed in this one. No, yeah. no, this is. This one was at least moderately entertaining. We're about to witness that universal horror. Bring it on, baby! Adam and Jay up at the Pharaoh's Curse, or Pharaoh's yeah. Fury, or Pharaoh's Fun Ship. Yeah. This might be your chance to get vomited on by your favorite YouTuber. So you've got a front row seat to the Tilt-A-Whirl all day. Yes, sir. You've got to be around smelling food all day and watching the Tilt-A-Whirl. <laughs> yeah. How's that working so far? Uh, we haven't been too busy today, but it's pretty fun, though. It's still, still fun watching the environment everybody come by. I'm sure it is. Yes. That's the Nope Corner. Jay, are you doing the Magnum? I'm just Magnum. No, I've actually never done it. I just always just I would grow up on that. Finally grabbing a little dinner. We've got the pork kebab from uh, this particular wooden... We've got a pork kebab here. My dinner from this rather wooden-looking vendor. You see all the things they got there? It's actually pretty good. So, uh, Adam, you want the chicken kebab. Oh, yeah. Jay's got a big old turkey leg. Big. That's actually a good looking turkey leg, too. Thank Rich, you. Rich is all American with his uh, hot dog and mustard. And uh, Mike, french fries? This is all right. Very nice. Got to go into the steer barn now. Find some steer. Okay. to an end on the first day of Strawberry Festival 2024. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you'd be doing us an absolutely enormous favor. And uh, stick with us, we'll be back to regular programming next time when we do just a little exploring.